This year, the University of Ghana Distance Learning School admitted over 2,900 fresh students to offer various courses. Out of the number is the youngest boy, Vimens Bamfo, who is just 12 years old. With him not receiving classroom education for the past three years, many are concerned if he could meet the university's standard. His age in the university is a big deal because in Ghana, the least age for tertiary education is mostly 18, taking into account the cycle of the country's education system. But with the advancement of the world, very young people are changing the narrative. Same can be said in the case of this 12-year-old boy who has gained admission to pursue tertiary education. Vimens Bamfo has been offered a course in public administration. At his age, many would have expected to see him at most in the senior high school, but that is not the case. In a family of three, Vimens is the second child to benefit from his father's home tuition. Vimens was withdrawn from school after lower primary education at the Maoli International School at Akemoda in the eastern region. This means he did not go through upper primary, junior high school and senior high school system. He however wrote to the private Wasi and passed. His father, Robert Bamfo, says he decided to homeschool his children due to financial constraints, a decision he says was very tough. What I teach first is dictionary skills that the child should be able to pronounce every word without me nor any other person. Where there is difficulty, the ch child must resort to the dictionary. There are phonetic symbols, so we do the phonetic skills and then once that is done, for vocabulary development, I teach Latin. Uh -huh. I teach Latin for vocabulary development. In the sciences, I don't give notes. We, what we do is textbook centered. If the child doesn't know doesn't understand what he's reading. We do reading skills development. How do I understand what I read? Uh -huh. I have books on that. I use that to let them appreciate how to paraphrase what you have read. At age nine, Fimens was committed to study hard as his father tutored him science-related subjects at home. Challenged in learning respective subjects at his age, Vimens survived the tough hurdle. My father taught me. He teach me the way or what I like. He used what I like to teach me. He combined the syllables. He used the Cambridge syllables, the Wasi syllables. So I understood some basic things about it. How the Americans would teach. Vimen says he's motivated in his academic journey by President Akufado and former U.S. President Barack Obama and that he looks up to them. I want to become the president of Ghana at age 40. I want to improve our nation and make our nation one of the highest countries in the world. Things are going well but there are inflations in the economy. So I want to change that. Although his course in public administration at the university may be difficult for him, he is bent on achieving his dreams. Vimens is not the only beneficiary of his father's home tuition. His senior brother, Edwin, has also gone through the process. Edwin also enjoyed home tuition by his father and has currently graduated from the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology as an environmentalist at age 20. He will do us from the education system and we're staying in the school. The school belongs to my grandfather. So we're staying in the school. So every day you see them coming to school and all of that and then you are indoors working on something else. So from the beginning it wasn't really that easy because his approach to learning is totally different from all the learning I had done in my life. Okay, For the first 12 years of my life I had done different kind of learning and I was now getting adjusted to something else. As eloquent as he is, 12-year-old Vimens was given the opportunity to give a speech on behalf of the matriculating students. For I said in Latin, and I quote, Mutum sperandum, qui mutum datum est, meaning much more is expected to whom much is given. With all the teachings that has been given to these um, children, um, their father is very optimistic that um, they will all grow to become what they wanted to be in future. Reporting for City News, my name is Kweku Eduyama Anza.